The Nerdgasm Talk Podcast is brought to you by Spaces Philly. If you love podcasts, go to spacesphilly.com where you can check out Lulu and Pop, Both Sides, Turntables, Jump Thoughts, Super Tongue, and the Nerd Coalition's very own No Gimmicks Needed. Visit spacesphilly.com today. And now, feel the Nerdgasm. Let's go to DC Fandom. Oh, yes. That This was a great weekend. <laughs> a great weekend for DC fan. One, I appreciate just it being four hours long instead of the whole 18 hours, like the whole weekend. Pretty yeah. Much. Um, of course, the website refreshes. But uh, we're going to start with a couple of things that we enjoy. Let's start with the Black Adam trailer. Yeah, because it, it was true. I, some, people, some people out there ain't going to mention no names. Yeah, yeah go uh, ahead. <laughs> Point all the fingers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's going to happen? But I'm like, nah, trust me. You don't know the rock like I know the rock. Okay? <laughs> go ahead. Oh, oh, talking. okay. Yeah, I was going to start talking about the trailer. Uh, he finally released at least the first look, pretty much the beginning of it. Honestly, I don't need a trailer after this. I do not need a trailer after this. I looked at that. I was like, good. It looks epic. And I was sitting there. I was like, because the director started, <laughs> like, I felt like he was uh, behind me talking. He was like, "Is it? Good? he's not going to be a bad guy. And I was like, I really hope he's a bad guy. Seeing him electrify someone into dust, I was like, yeah, we got it. He's going to be the Black Adam, I believe, like in New 52, but it's where in his mind, Black Adam is not a bad guy. Right. In his mind, he's doing this for his people. In his mind, I'm ruler because y'all need a pharaoh and a ruler, and I'm the one that can bring that to you. Right. But in reality, that is one crazy some bitch right there. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I think. He, I'm like, no, it ain't going to be like, yeah, Black Adam is teaming up with Batman and Superman, you know, the, the take out the forces of evil he's not that kind of good guy right he won't be a kind of good guy because first of all in you, you're going to have a black ass zachary levi is getting his ass kicked by dwayne johnson okay? absolutely it's happening. <laughs> it's happening this thing is not taking place in present day it's the, the J- yeah it's F- in the past a, it's in the past he's at the jsa was before the jla okay we're in the jla era right now so we had to go back to what the jsa was back when the snyderverse still exists <laughs> exactly <laughs> oh man <laughs> and, and, I, and i was like this thing is going to be oh i i can't wait i, I cannot wait to see it and just see it him first of all just like i said you could have put the rock in the shazam suit from the first movie and i wouldn't care <laughs> <laughs> but now it's updated. He got he, he has that new fifty two, uh, cape hoodie. Oh, it's a wrap. Yeah, it, I it like the hoodie. Wrap. First of all, the suit looks great, and then we got sneak peeks of the suits of Hawkman, uh, Animal Smasher, and uh, Cyclone. I think her name was. Yeah, those suits from the little glimpse. I was like, okay, I like it. I like the stitching of it. His bras and it's not the face. Oh I'm, my god, that is a perfect cat. <laughs> First of all, it's, looking, it's like he is looking you, great. You can't fuck this up. He is looking great. He is looking so good, and I was like, "Yes, yes, please, just make it all right. I, <laughs> make it all right for me." And I, I'm excited for this. I'm really excited for this. Um, yeah, I don't know if you have any last words on Black Adam before you, because I'm just I'm, I'm I said, Lord willing, I'm still breathing on this earth. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna find a way to get to the theater that day. I ain't got time for my wife to talk about something. I'm scared. I'm like, no, the rock will protect us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We, I'm gonna find a way. I'm gonna save the money, and I'm gonna go because I am not going to have what happened to me with Shazam happen at Black Adam. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Oh, I, because I was excited for Shazam, and I could not see it on opening day, and I was pissed. Mm. And it was like, cause like I said, I'm not expecting nobody to understand my love for these characters like, like but me. Yeah. But I'm just like, but no. And first of all, I, I'm so happy at DC. I'm like, this is The Rock. First of all, The Rock got that Black Adam look. He Remember, does. People, Black Adam is Egyptian, okay? Mm-hmm. 
So the rock got that black and that Samoan vibe going. I'm just yeah. like, this man is, yes, <laughs> okay. It, it's it, it is and he's huge and he just got the person that like this man. This is what it need to be. It, it it needed to be there, and I'm just like, I'm so glad that 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 it's done. And it's like yo, do all the editing you need. Cause first of all. Seeing seeing a black hawk man too, yeah, bro. Oh man, yeah. I'm ready. I, I, I already I love this ready. actor. I already love the actor that plays. Him. I was like, yeah. Oh, Elders Hodge. Yep. Oh yeah, Elders Hodge is good. Yeah. I mean, if you have not seen him in Leverage, but if you see him in the movies that he was in, especially uh, in One Night in Miami. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Oh, he's oh he he's gonna bring it. Mm-hmm. He's gonna bring, especially as a hawk man. Oh, he's going to bring it, and I'm telling you. I know who I, I'm just saying all the things that they can do, especially when you have Shazam Fury of the Gods. We didn't get there yet, but when, when we mm-hmm. have Shazam Fury of the Gods, and I'm like, that final, y'all about to see something so epic. Y'all, y'all, y'all can't even control yourselves. I'm telling y'all, by the time that third movie come out, it'd be like 2025, and it'd be Dwayne Johnson or Zachary Levi and Black Adam taking on Shazam. Bruh, <laughs> y'all not going to know what hit y'all. This is what I wanted out of Venom and Spider Man. <laughs> this okay, I, I I can agree with that because I don't know what the fuck Venom doing these days. I I, I, I I'm not seeing that second movie. I saw the post credit scene leaked online. I'm not seeing <laughs> this movie at all. Well, the post credit scene was actually kind of dope. It was. I I have a different reaction for it. it okay, I, I liked it, but I'm still like, <sighs> um. But yes, Black Adam, oh my god. Uh the next trailer. This trailer. Okay, let this trailer got me hype. And it's the Batman. Whoa. Well, I, I know you're coming in coming in that quick. I, I'm I'm starting from the like the stuff we can talk about the most. Let's we, <laughs> I'm bringing them in. Ooh, that you know what? Here's the thing. I have <laughs> I y'all know how much of on the fence I was about Robert Pattinson. Yeah. And after seeing that trailer, I'm still on the fence. Okay. But that trailer made him. It's it's not him. Mm-hmm. It's the it's the rounded jaw when he's in that in that uh suit. Uh huh. I'm just like, oh, this is Pat. This is Pattinson, man. Okay. It's just like it, you know he don't have a square jaw, so that kind of throws me off. And then when he's not in the suit, he's like emo Bruce Wayne. Okay. I got and a, I'm like, I had I got a different vibe <laughs> from Bruce it, Wayne. <laughs> when I'm watching the channel, I'm like, I'm like, Bruce is mentally ill. Yeah, he, but he that, that's it. the thing. Like, I'm not getting like what I'm getting from this trailer is they ain't like there's gonna not gonna be much change from Bruce from Batman. Mm-hmm. Which kind of is disappointing, right? Now they said this will be a trilogy, um, so hopefully we'll get that over time. I, I mean, so, yeah, I get, I'm, I get it, but see, the whole purpose behind Bruce Wayne and Batman, and first of all, Bruce is fucked up in the head. He's mentally fucked up. Yeah, and of course you lost your kid. You lost both your parents. Yes, you're you're mentally fucked up. It's okay to say that. But he know if if he acts the way that Batman acts, first of all, people are gonna know he's Batman. But you, if he said, but the, the whole billionaire playboy thing is an act, mm-hmm. which makes it cool for Bruce Wayne. D- this guy, I'm look. If, if I see him in the street, I'm like, that's the Batman. It has to be. <laughs> I seen the way Bruce Wayne got out that limo, and I'm like, that's the Batman. Like, and that's the first thing I would say because I'm like. They're, if he's if he's the billionaire that is Bruce Wayne, and he, he got a car l- looking like that, and like you disheveled that depressed, you you a billion, bro? You're Batman. You have to be. You have to be. But the trailer mm-hmm. was awesome. Phenomenal. The Riddler. I, oh yeah, I'm excited I'm for the Riddler. I'm excited for it. And I and, also and, like how they're purposely not showing his face. Yes, I love that too. And it's just that, like, the, the way Batman is his hand on these guys, like, when he put him, his head on the, the train vibration rail, <laughs> I was like, 
right up there do that shit. So look, I was watching this trailer. <laughs> he should be dead, but okay. I was watching this trailer and it brought me back to the first trailer where he's just beating that dude in the street mm-hmm. and all the people are just looking at him like, oh my God. And then <laughs> we get to that same shot kind of where he's just pounding and then Catwoman's looking at him like, yo, what is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm like, yo, that's just a homeless man that wanted food. He just took some out the trash can. Don't be turning up on him, man. Calm exactly. down. Like, what the fuck is I told like, you. This looks like a mentally ill Batman. And I think I was like, I I, I want this. <laughs> I wanna I want to go inside of Bruce Wayne's head to really understand. How do like, you want to be there, bro? I really don't think you want to be there. <laughs> I think this movie's gonna take us there. And I'm just like, oh, I'm with it. <laughs> I'm with it. I am with this movie. I, I I did watch Caboose reaction, and he's like, "This is the greatest movie ever. This is gonna be." I was like, "Okay, okay, come on." Who, who said that? Caboose. Of course. You know, catch you guys later. Yeah, I'm like, you know what I'm <laughs> the Batman in the Avengers DLC. <laughs> I'm still wish the Spider Man, but yeah. yeah. Caboose, I, I mean, man. yeah. I mean, it was it, it was cool. I like seeing the gunshots. Like he ain't taking no shit. And he, you know, uh, Zoe, uh, Zoe Kravis, mm-hmm. fine as why. You know what I'm saying? Fine as me. Let me tell you, tell you something. Let me tell you something about POC Catwoman. <laughs> it always works. Everybody say, oh, it, man, it never failed. It, it always ne- works. My, my Holly Berry. It never failed. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you have your reaction out for the trailer. I didn't get that yes. notification. Okay. Uh, anything else you want to add to it? Day one, because first of all, we ain't got that long to wait. This is in March. Mm-hmm. March 2022 will be here before you know it, people. And we will definitely do our best to be in that movie theater and check out The Batman. Now, when I see Robert Pattinson in action, I will be happy to come back on and say, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I was wrong. But in the meantime, I don't know. It's just... He- he sell me on a kick ass, like, like he sell me like oh, like he kicks some ass, but as Batman, I don't know yet. I don't. Yeah. I mean, the, like the trailer made people look good, but I'm just saying, yeah, I, that just, that trailer made him look, especially when he's walking through, down yeah. the hall, just eating yeah. the bullets. I was like, okay, okay, come on, <laughs> like yeah, all like, right, he, come like, on, y'all. Like he's eating the bullets, but then, and then he he got the scene where he, he, you know he he's yelling at this guy. I'm like, this jaw is just so elementary school it's just like he, he, he is a young bruce wayne <laughs> he is young so look i don't know we'll get something mm-hmm. next let's talk about the games suicide squad kills the justice league wait you, you didn't want to talk about any more of the movies i i yeah i, I was going down the list okay it's, oh, it's, the doing, list. I got it's doing all the hot stuff and then we'll <laughs> de- gotcha like, i'm sorry yeah uh yeah suicide squad killed the justice league Trailer was better. Yeah, trailer was amazing. I was really surprised at this trailer, but I need to see gameplay because at first it just looked like a um, Left 4 Dead clone. I was like, "Are we just fighting these? Um, uh, wasn't it Brainiac spawns or something throughout the whole game?" Mm. And as we know, it takes uh, takes place. Um, I think it's six years after. Arkham Knight. So this is in the same universe as Arkham Knight. So Batman's gone. I know I've seen in the trailer Robin. I've seen Wonder Woman. I've seen Superman. Uh, we've seen, seen, seen The Flash. Seen we've seen John it. Stewart. Yep. Green Lantern. Lantern. I'm very happy that they showed the rest of the Justice League and this is not focusing on we have to fight evil Superman. It's like we have enough media and games talking about that. Yeah, and just as the main one. I want I want to yeah. see everyone else. And it looks like Boomerang Man is a speedster. From uh, it. I think when he throws Captain his, Boomerang? Yeah, Captain Boomerang. Uh he it looks like he's a speedster in this. Because as he threw in this boomerang, he was like glitching out and like moving really fast. So I'm like, that's a cool element if they did add that and it will make sense for him to be a main uh villain for the Flash. Yeah. Um, but yeah, trailer looked great. I just need to see gameplay. 
I was already sold on the game, but I just want to see gameplay. I mean, it looks good. I'm like, so is that only four members of the Suicide Squad we get to choose when it comes to Deadshot, Harley Quinn, Captain Boomerang, and, and King Shark? As because, far as I know, yes. I'm about to say, because when it comes to them four, they not take out Justice League. It's a nice thought. Now, yeah. Ooh, they have me. In the trailer, I did see Wonder Woman fighting Superman. Okay. I, w- I was rewinding it a couple times because I was like, who is tackling Superman like that? I was like, oh, it was Wonder Woman. So, Gotcha. Okay, because uh, that team of Suicide Squad, they're going to need some help. I mean, depends on how they do it. Because <laughs> uh, what's his name? Idris Elba put Superman in uh, ICU. <laughs> Yeah, they actually need, they need to do the same thing. Kryptonite bullet and take care of them. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it looks great. Next, The Flash. The teaser trailer for that. Mm. The suit looks so much better. It does. I still can't get with Ezra Miller. That's how I feel about Robert, Robert Pattinson. Yeah. Like he's here. He's been here, but I just can't. I can't get with <laughs> Ezra Miller. Especially when he started presenting it. Hi, I'm Ezra Miller. I was and like, this is a green bro, screen. I was like, D- y- bro, do you care? I said, are you at a DC fandom or are you, are you like at a Beatles convention? <laughs> I was like, right, look, come on, man. Give me some energy. <laughs> this is I your movie. It. This is your first movie. Like, come on. <laughs> but, no, um, he, he, he gave me. I was like, bro, do you belong here? Like, right now, I was like, look. <laughs> but yeah, I I'm interested in it. So in the trailer, we saw two versions of Ezra Miller's Flash, um, one in the new suit and one in thinking the mechanical suit that we saw in the Snyderverse. We also saw Superwoman. I mean Supergirl. And my gosh, she is fine as hell. My yes, lord. She is. Um, we also saw the cow of Ben Affleck. I and as far as I know, I believe he's returning for this movie. And mm. we also saw, well, the cow of uh, Michael Keaton, Batman. And he was doing the voiceover Ooh. in the trailer, too. So, Oh, yeah, I, 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 I'm, ex- I'm excited about all that. Yeah, I, I just hope it's good. This movie has been flipping directors. <laughs> I'm about to say, they finally found somebody to hold on to this joke. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? I that just hope it's good. Everybody has like butter. <laughs> Nobody wanted this movie at all. And I'm like, I'm worried. Um, I just hope this is the only Flash movie. I I don't want another Flash Paradox thing <laughs> after this. Like, uh, how they no, do with should. the TV show. Yeah. I, I don't want you know, another. I, I mean, I want, I, I want to do this, knock this out, and, you know, uh, I, I guess make it, it has to be a bit, make it to a big event. Yeah. It ha- I mean, it has to be into a big event, like I said, you get it's kind of doing your own kind of crisis on Infinite Earths. Yeah, it's animated. Make Justice League two. God darn it. <laughs> well, well, you know, you know. Yeah, it ain't gonna they, happen. They, they ain't gonna do that. It ain't yet. gonna happen. <laughs> ain't gonna happen at all. And I, I, I have no faith in them doing it. In all honesty, I have no faith. <laughs> but yeah, um. That's how I felt about the trailer. Next, Aquaman. We got some behind the scenes look at Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Um, how does Amber Heard still have a job? Is a question that I was asking. <laughs> I guess you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I was very shocked about that. Um, but the movie didn't really bring me anything where I was like, oh, wow, this looks great at, at all. Um, same, <laughs> same thing with. Uh, Oh, wait, no, not same thing. The complete opposite for Shazam Fury of the Gods. I'm glad we're getting everyone back. Praise the Lord for bringing Megan Good back. I'm very happy about that. Um, and the two villains. I'm not too familiar with them. Do you know them at all? Oh, who? The villains for Shazam uh, Fury of Gods. Uh, so I am not too familiar with... Um... Those particular, those particular two villains, I'm not even going to sit here and get on my Shazam soapbox like I do. Okay. Uh, but no, I, I'm not too familiar, but I know Lucy Liu is one of them. Gotcha. And, and like- I, I'm excited because this time, 
we're, we're doing the whole Marvel family. Yeah. So, they're all, so they're, they're all gonna come back. We're gonna we're gonna get some you know Greek mythology stuff going on. Like I'm excited about all that stuff. I'm very excited as well. Um, like, like, because uh, just there doesn't that doesn't have a really great rose gallery of villains. Mm. But unless it's Black Adam, but this right here, I think will do them do them some good until we can get to Black Adam. Right. <clears throat> Hopefully it will. Oh, we we gonna get to it. <laughs> Next trailer we got Gotham Knights. This was the main trailer I was waiting for. This was the main thing I was waiting for. Um, I thought we was gonna get more gameplay. I'm a, I'm kind of upset that we didn't. In all honesty, I, I, I actually I agree with you on that. Sentiment. I thought we was gonna get some gameplay, but it looks like we are not. Um, but the trailer was cool. The trailer looked creepy. The quarter hours look creepy as they usually do because that's the quarter hours. It wouldn't be the quarter hours if they weren't creepy. But um, yeah, the trailer looked great. I'm still gonna play the game. It's coming out in 2022 this time uh, instead of 2021. I had a feeling it was going to get delayed. But uh, it looks like it's coming out the same year as Just League Kill the Suicide Squad. But Just League Kill the Suicide Squad, I know, is exclusively for PS5 or next-gen consoles, I should say. Oh, okay. Um, whereas um, Gotham Knights isn't. It's going to be PS4 and all that. So, yeah. yeah. Look, uh, it, uh, in my head, okay? Mm-hmm. You hear me? Yeah. In my head, Gotham Knights is still a continuation after the Arkham City. That's how I am. Yep. yep, that's how in, I'm approaching I don't care what, it. I don't, I don't care. care what they, they tell me. If, 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 if y'all, y'all got a great side of Bruce Wayne and, and we take up the mantle right now as the Bat Family, yo, that, that's how it is to me. Yep, that's how it is too. He died. <laughs> he died in Arkham Knight. And this is how mm-hmm. I, this is how we do it. We had the whole family there. <laughs> we, exactly. We had the whole family there. So yeah, that's how I'm com- approaching it. Um, next trailer, Peacemaker. Well, we didn't get really trailers behind the scenes for Peacemaker. Um, yeah. I don't care about this. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> I don't know how you feel about it. The Peacemaker. Yeah. It looks kind of funny, actually. It do look funny, but I just like I was like, eh. like, I'm not going crazy for it. Uh, I'm I am happy that HBO Max get to have new series out, right? Kind of like how Disney Plus is doing it with the DC characters, and like I said, I I like John Cena, especially in the role as the uh, the peacemaker. I I am kind of concerned, like. I didn't. Nobody reads the Peacemaker. I didn't read no Peacemaker stuff like that. So, what is necessarily the plot? What's he mostly going to be doing? Is this going to be just be in limbo? He just killed us to kill to show off he's a peacemaker. Like I, I, I don't know. There's a lot, a lot of things that has to, you know, go into play. But I am happy for John Cena. I'm happy that he's he's getting this role. I think he he really enjoys playing playing this character. Yeah. So I, I am going to hashtag give it a chance. Gotcha. I, I, you know, I'll hashtag. I, I, I was gonna already gonna hashtag give it a chance. I was just like, you know, I'll catch it when it's like, when it's bingeable. Mm-hmm. Like hashtag give it a chance. I was gonna let me go out my way and see this. Like that was n- never my intention for this series at all. Um, but yeah, Peacemaker, it looked okay. Uh, Batwoman, I don't know if you cared about that at all. I actually, <laughs> I'm proud of Batwoman. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm proud of her. I'm proud, I'm proud of her making a difference, you know, in diversity. And I'm proud of Batwing, but I'm not. Yo, Batman. Proud. Batwing was the worst thing that came out of Batman. <laughs> Let's it be was. honest. They're they, 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 they gonna, they gonna try to make him cool. I, I was just like, bro, th- this is so corny. <laughs> yeah, it is. Batwing is so corny. Y'all can say what y'all want. I don't care. Batwing is corny. <laughs> well, I mean, no, no. I mean, <laughs> it is. But like I said, so other than that, I didn't. I, I didn't get into too much about you know uh, the Batwoman. Gotcha. Um, another show. Um, it's actually airing his last season, which is Supergirl. Supergirl going after six seasons. That man, that is heartbreaking. Now, did you consistently watch the show? Because no, I know because you would get the Blu-rays. 
Love my Blu-rays. Yeah. <laughs> I would watch season one. And I'm like, this is the Devil Woman's worst product for superheroes. Right. And then season two came when she started crossing over with Arrow and Flash. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yo, this girl pretty badass. Right. And then um, Red Tornado came and then Lex Luthor came. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, out of two and a half minutes, Lex Luthor for this series is dope. Yeah, he actually was really good. I remember him on Crisis. Yeah. He did a great so, job. Uh, those, uh, oh, what was I just saying? Um, about, uh, Supergirl. Yeah, no. So, yeah, so, uh, I don't know if the last season just came out mm-hmm. or if it's, uh, you know, as I was about to come out, but I mean, I want to support it. Right. I thought it was one. Of the, I thought it was on, on on the side of the better DC shows, right? You know, so I, I, it's hard to see it leave, but I understand you do got to make room because there's there's Star Girl out there, and then there's still Flash, and it, I, I think the Flash may be ending. I don't know. If this is gonna be this final season, but I think it, it may be ending like after ten seasons, also. Yeah, it's about time for the Flash to end, honestly. I, but I'm telling you, I'm tired of saying, "Damn it, Barry!" Yeah, I know. He, I know he got his gold boots, but I'm like. Barry? Yeah, I don't know if you're excited about those gold boots. I was like, oh, that's it. Well, I, I mean, I, I'm excited because he's finally getting his comic book accurate kind of suit. Mm-hmm. So I was happy. I was happy about that. But you know, uh, I, I know the Flash probably is going, is going to run its course, so it's probably going to be done. And honestly, I do think like since Arrow ended, and then we got Supergirl ending, and the Flash probably should end soon. You should give uh, time for. The new superheroes to step up or have their shows like Batwing or, uh, you know, uh, one Naomi, which is a um, CW series by Ava DuVernay. Ava DuVernay, Naomi okay. looks good. Yeah, that looks good. I'm into it. I don't. I think it's just when I see uh, black women as leads, I'm just down. I'm instantly down yes. for it. I don't care what it is. I I, I want to watch it and I want to support it by any means necessary. I'll, I'll go lengths to support it. So that's how I feel about it. Uh, Naomi was a cool trailer. Just seeing Superman just like flying across and just her passing out. I don't know her powers, but I did see it was written by Bendis and Blend- Bendis love his <laughs> representation. Yes, he does. He said, "If I can't get a comic book or my door to see them as superheroes, I ain't writing it." I'm like, "You, you got it, bro. <laughs> you got it." Now I kind of want to pick up the comics, just just because I like Bendis as a writer. Yeah, yeah just because I like Bendis as a writer. Um, there was a little bit more that happened at uh, DC uh, Fandom. We had this Aquaman series that kind of that was like, "What in the world?" But I laughed at it. So I thought it was kind of funny. Harley Quinn getting a new season, of course. Uh, Harley Quinn's a fantastic series. If you haven't seen that show, uh, make sure to check it out. And um, that was pretty much the highlights of DC Fandom. I'm still upset we didn't get Injustice. Ed Boon was there, just you know, talking about it. And uh, I thought I, you were block by, by past that part. I, I've been he can't because you know because Ed Boon the Ed Boon does it to all time. He comes out there and he know. By just coming there and showing himself, he's taking that ball. Look, man, Sakurai would never. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't he do that. Not Sakurai that would man. never tease us like that. <laughs> Sakurai gave us Sora. You no, know Ed Boon probably he was like, you know what, y'all don't deserve a game. And he was like, look, come on, guys, you want a Mortal Kombat character in Smash? Or y'all just still saying Sora? Y'all don't deserve it. Oh, wow. Y'all don't deserve it. <laughs> That's probably what he said. <laughs> He's shaking, <laughs> talking to Sonic Fox right now. He's like, they're, nah, they don't deserve it at all. <laughs> but yeah, I've been hearing bad things about that Injustice movie. Really? Yes. <laughs> I, I, see, I, it come out in two weeks, so I got to buy it. But you know what, how. What, what, what's some of the bad things you've been hearing about it? I. So Lex, our friend Lex, he he's he hates everything. So he said he's seen the movie, he hates it. Um, this is what got me. I didn't read the review yet, but IGN gave it a four. 
out of 10 and I was like, okay, I got it. <laughs> I was like, I had to bookmark this. I got to read it for later. Because you could get one out of two type of reviewers out of IGN. Yes. So I, I say that for later. I didn't read it yet. Once I do, I'll get back to you. But man, that, yeah. But yeah, that was, uh, that's pretty much the podcast today. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Mr. A&E, you sound tired. Hold on, okay. I'm just saying, oh, okay. I do want to. I do want to give a shout out to uh, Milestone Comics because they did announce that this. It, That's it right. A, uh, a live, a, a live street, a, a, a static movie. Yes. So that thing is in the works. I don't know what. Uh, I mean, it's probably it's probably years away from now. But I yeah, saying, Michael B. Jordan is working on that yeah. thing. I remember they announced it last year. But uh, the yes. one I'm really excited is the animated movie. Yes, because they're doing they're doing that one as well. Like I said, Avery Duvernay is working on a, a, a project named Naomi and some a, a couple other things. There's a new Catwoman animated movie coming out at the beginning of next year. Finally, somebody different other than Batman, Superman, and Justice League. Yeah, we get, <laughs> you know we get a Catwoman animated movie, which uh, I like that. We get some behind the scenes, like I said, of uh, Aquaman two, so Black Manta's coming back, and Ocean Master. Mm. It, you know how you and my wife do it. Yeah, so, yeah. I, I, <laughs> so there's the, there's a, there's even a there's even a Young Justice season four trailer uh, that came. Up. I, I I gotta get back into Young Justice because you know uh, it was so damn good. We got a third season. I don't know if I would like that, but then a fourth season. Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm with it. Yeah, I do gotta get back in that. And Titans as well. I keep forgetting about that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the thing. Like, like, like I got to Everybody keeps telling me, you got to check out live action Titans. I'm like, all right, I'm going to no. get you. I'm going to get you. Like, no, you, you got to check out live action Titans. I hear more great things about Doom Patrol than any other series. I hear, I hear the same thing about Doom, Doom Patrol also. Which is shocking. I would have never expected that. I probably, I mean, well... It's just hard, it's, I guess it's hard, 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 hard to say. So, those are, are some of the things that uh, I recognized yesterday. That I was like, "Hey, this is." Uh, I want to make sure I give a shout, especially to you know, for our people. Yeah, that was my fault. Uh, I ain't gonna <laughs> lie, you did sound tired. You sound like you was on it in and out. I was like, "Let me <laughs> start wrapping this up." Real oh no, quick. It, it, no, it, it is cool. Look, I, I, for anybody out there to, to admit, the weekend has, has gotten to me. Like I said. All those re- reactions you guys seen yesterday, that was me busting my ass. It took me, now usually it'll take me that long, but yesterday, because I was so tired, it took me 12 hours Jeez. to record, edit, render, and upload all those videos. That's why they all came out at 12 o'clock this morning, because I didn't get back into the house. Uh, Yesterday until like nine thirty, almost almost uh ten o'clock ish, and then I had to go back and actually react to uh to all, all the trick. I didn't see it because when we was talking in the car, I was door dashing, so I was listening to it, right. but I couldn't see it. Oh, so it's kind. Okay. Of, so I, I was kind of it's kind of like a podcast for uh for me. Okay, gotcha. So so when we was all in the hangouts. I was out there door dashing. The Q yelled at me, "Get on hangouts!" I was like, "All right, man." <laughs> Look, my bad. I thought you. I thought you used at the rehearsal there. That's why I was just like, "Well, no." I I was I I caught the beginning, then I had to go. Okay. Like I, yeah, so I had I, I left I, halfway. I was, I was listening to it. I was just like, "Oh, I got to see that black ad or whatever." I, I cause at first I was trying to stop the car and try to look at it, but I was like, "But no, I kept getting orders and ding, ding, dings." I oh, said, "No, no, get your money. Right. Get your don't don't the trailers will be here. Get your money." <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So yeah, I I did I did do all that. I was just like, "Who that was?" Cause I actually take my laptop to, to to work with me this morning to fin to finish out putting the thumbnail and stuff on. I was like, but "You know, look, nothing." That's worth coming because it was easy. So, yeah, I did it. I bust my ass. So yeah. So no, for people out there, y'all know I'm. I, I am a little tired, stuff like that. So you know, it, it, me and Swagger try to do the best that we can. The schedule is crazy, but you know what? We're gonna get this stuff going down because I, uh, you know, plan, plan on doing some more gameplay. You know, to try to help out the gaming side uh, of things and stuff like that. Still help do those things to help out 
you know, side here. Hopefully, you guys will be seeing the snippets of these tomorrow. Yeah. Or however so you can, you know, get them up so I can try to keep a schedule going. I, I'm aw- I'm not going to sleep until I just edit these. It's, <laughs> it's just render them. Okay. That, that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> I feel you. But yeah, so no, no, it's all good though. But yeah, we we can't we can end the podcast. I just wanted to make sure we talk about my main man static and some milestone comics, you know. Gotcha, gotcha. 